for step 17, we're going to work on the spur gear. And I think we'll work on this first. We'll get our bearings in and then we'll grease this up a bit and put the bar through. And then with the motor, it's just a matter of taking off the uh, rubber boot and then putting on the motor plate. And you can see there's the rubber boot on the motor. And of course, we're going to use our bearings instead of the bushings. And so we've got our parts ready to go. So I'll set this up and let's get to it. So first off, let's grab our spur gear. Let's put our bearings into that spur gear. Pop them in, that's actually a nice tighter fit. And then the other one, do the same thing, snap it in. So we've got our bearings into the spur gear. Now for the metal bar, again, I normally, because this is bearings, I don't necessarily do this, but I don't know. I have decided I'm going to this time regardless. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm not going to put as much as maybe I normally would uh, when this has got bearings. So we will slide this through. And there we go. So for now, that's how it's going to be. I'm sure we're going to put grease on either end because that's got to go into the um, uh, part of the gearbox anyway. But for now, we'll leave that just like that. Now for the motor itself, we're going to need to take off this rubber boot. Easiest way to do this is to grab a piece uh, or grab a, your pliers. Grab a hold of it. Come on. Grab a hold of it. Sure. And we're going to pull. And that, uh, there we go. It is now off of that. So now we can grab our motor plate. And you can see that we need to get it level with the holes. And really, we can adjust this later too. But there we go. It'll snap on nice and easy. Move it to the holes. There we go. Push down. And voila, we've got our motor plate attached. So that really is as simple as it can be for step 17. So now we're going to move on to step 18 and attach the motor to the gearbox. Yeah. 